In this lesson, we are going to learn about rectifiers. Okay, these are basically your devices that are used to convert an AC to a DC. Okay, so you input your AC, and what you get as output is your DC. Okay, now major component of a rectifier is a diode. Okay, so let's just review basic concepts. in your diode what a diode looks like and how it operates okay so you must be knowing your diode is essentially a pn junction okay if you want to learn more about your pn junction and your band theory you can just refer the lessons on these topics but if you're just wanting to review it we are going to do it right now okay so over here this is your p type semiconductor and this represents your n type semiconductor okay and this is your symbol for a diode okay now the voltage that is applied across the diode is known as your bias okay a diode is basically operated either in forward bias or in reverse bias okay what does this mean forward bias means your p type is at a higher potential okay your reverse bias means your n type is at a higher potential okay so understand it this way if you have a diode okay and you connect your positive terminal of your battery to your p region this is your p region and this is your n region so if you connect positive terminal of your battery to your p region then this is at a higher potential with respect to this guy therefore this is a forward bias configuration okay another scenario that is possible is when you connect your diode like this okay you connect your p type to negative terminal okay and you connect your n type to your positive terminal okay in this case your p type is at a lower potential as compared to your n type okay this is at a higher potential and this is at a lower potential okay this type of configuration is known as your reverse bias configuration okay under forward bias conditions your diode basically acts like a short circuit okay so if you have a diode which is connected in this manner then this acts like a short circuit so this is equivalent to a short okay so you have large amount of current flowing through in this circuit if you are connecting your diode under forward bias configuration okay under a reverse bias configuration your diode acts like an open circuit okay so if you connect your diode like this then essentially this is the equivalent circuit okay you have no current flowing in this circuit since you have a open circuit over here these are your ideal scenarios for your forward and reverse bias configurations okay just realize that your forward biased diode acts like a short circuit okay therefore you are going to have a huge current that's going to flow in this circuit therefore it is never advisable to connect your circuit like this okay you should have a resistance over here that can control the current flowing in this circuit otherwise you are going to destroy your battery or probably this short is going to catch fire okay or this conducting material is going to catch fire okay so you should always have a resistor in your circuit in order to control the current okay now these were your ideal scenarios okay under ideal conditions if we neglect the barrier potential in this particular diode you are going to see this performance okay actually if you are going to plot a graph of your voltage which is connected over here and the current which is flowing in this circuit under 